Amy, a new mother to a four-month-old girl, shockingly discovers that childcare will cost as much as 30% of her monthly take-home pay. A friend recommended Pay Amends, a stress-free childcare payment service, and Amy is here to sign up. From the Pay Amends website, she clicks on the Join Pay Amends button. If Amy didn't have a job, she would click on No and complete a survey. Because she has a job, she would click Yes to create her account. Here she's told to, ver to check her inbox to verify her account. After verifying her account, she proceeds to provide information about her child and a child care provider. In step four, she tells us how much her monthly child care cost is, how many months she wants pay amends to pay her child care fees for, and how she plans to make repayments, weekly or bi-weekly. After she specifies how she wants to make payments, Amy will see on the screen how much her weekly or bi-weekly payment will be. In addition to that, she will also see how long it will take for her to complete repayment. So she do bi-weekly, she will see how much bi-weekly will be. Weekly will also see amount. This amount here includes the monthly membership fee of $15.99. Next, Amy will add her payment method to her account. This is the card that pay amends will auto bill on her payment due date. She save her, car, her card to her account. Next is for Amy to submit her eligibility requirements, starting with social security number. To verify her social security number, she clicks on verify social security button. And using the Stripe Identity Verification API, Amy will submit her information for her social security to be approved. Hit submit, continue on in the process. The second eligibility requirement is to verify state issued ID and she proceed to submit her identification for verification. There are three options. Amy asks for uploading a file. She also can choose either driver's license, identity card or passport. She chooses driver's license. That also looks good. Continue on in the process. The third eligibility requirement is proof of income. Here, Amy will upload her pay stamp for verification. If she made a mistake, she can start again and make sure she upload the right document. In step seven, Amy will provide her personal information and also verify her phone number as a way to secure her account and also verify her identity. Using the Tilio API, we'll send an SMS code to Amy's phone so Amy can enter the, the code right here into her onboarding account and verify her phone number. The final step in the onboarding process is for Amy to review the information that she submitted to make sure there are no errors and accurate information has been captured. Everything is good. She submits the application. After account approval, Amy can safely log into her account and will have access to her dashboard. On the dashboard, she can invite friends to use pay amends. She can also see a summary of her account. One of the best parts about pay amends is that Amy can reschedule her payment to any day within her billing cycle. She's on a weekly plan. Her next uh, auto pay date is on the 23rd. She wants to make a payment a little bit later. She can choose to do so. Her new auto payment date has been updated and also reflected on the dashboard. On the dashboard, Amy can also update her account details. She can edit her password and update her address if that has changed. She can also request to cancel her account. You can safely log out. This is Pay Amends, flexible childcare payments for parents with kids under the age of five.